So I'm going to start recording. You're probably going to hear some uh, train horns interrupting, but I'll just keep going. Um, so I'm starting to focus in on some other things for the past couple months because I can't really rely on YouTube, and I've said that in my videos before. And uh, so, because I know how the corporate world works, as soon as a business gets too big, then it, it they become uh, very self-centered, and 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 then it's it's the nature within the system. That's all it is. But uh, so I, I knew I know I can't rely on it, and I have to focus on other things. Uh, that's a big part of why I haven't posted very many videos. Uh, plus, I haven't had uh, really a computer to work with. I have one. Uh, that's still running but it's very low uh, memory so it it heats up and it just it's just a big story that way but I rely on that computer a lot so I don't want to make it burn up as well I've already had two computers burn up so anyways I've just been uh, focusing on other things other interests and um, but I have been recording videos anyways I don't know what I'm gonna do with this channel uh, it may just kind of die off um, I don't uh, want to rely on it uh, for income or anything. I mean, I'm down to like maybe a hundred bucks a month and it keeps getting cut in half every month. And I'm just like, you know, it's, it's not worth it for relying on money anyways. So I'm just going to be uh, uh, focusing on other things probably. Uh, but even though I've been still recording videos, so I might still post them up anyways. Uh, you can see I've been doing some water catchment things, uh, starting a garden, learning all about this, and uh, <clears throat> uh, been inheriting kind of things for my grandma because she hasn't been living at home for a while, so I, uh, she doesn't mind that I use her stuff. And so I've just been gathering wood and trying to become self-sufficient as I've always have. And uh, I've got a, my sh shed going here. And I've just got to get out of my uh, $5,000 house that I've been working on. And because I think I've explained before that I've just got to get out of there to do the major projects in there. Like the ceiling and the major floor area. And I, I just can't be living in there anymore. I'm just getting in my own way, basically. So um, I either got to live in my cargo trailer or my shed here temporarily just to get those things done. Um, or even in my garage, I just gotta, or my parents' house or something. So I've gotta just live somewhere else while I fix this, do the major stuff. Uh, and so that's it in a, in a nutshell. That's what I've been working on. But uh, I mean, these times that we're looking at, I know that my train station here over here is starting to, you know, get back up on on uh, online uh, with the coronavirus and everything. Uh, they're starting to function again. They haven't been going for a couple months. Um, so they probably have limited services there, but it's getting active. Um, but during these last couple months, I think it's um, time to reevaluate and uh, really uh, refine our focus on Jesus Christ. Uh, that's where it's going to come down to, no matter what social issues come up, because uh, it'll help us avoid deception and to uh, really focus in on love and service to others and that the, those basic principles that Jesus Christ taught are the answers those are the answers it's very simple and Satan is doing everything to get us to focus in on other things and other solutions but Christ will change uh, men and women from the inside and where the world is trying to change people from the outside and uh, push social uh, engineering and all this stuff to get us divided from each other and so Jesus Christ will have us uh, do the very opposite he'll have us uh, through his principles we can come closer together uh, we could have forgiveness and healing in our lives and I think this, this is the best time to do it um, and probably the most critical time to do it so that's what uh, I've been really focusing in on is that relationship with him and if anybody wants to talk uh, uh, politics or anything with me, I usually just resort to the other option of just talking about Jesus Christ and my relationship with him and sharing that message. I know people may have been turned off by 
Jesus Christ and may not want to consider that as an answer uh, because people have uh, tainted his name and uh, but or it just may sound so common that it seems like it, it's not the answer maybe you you feel like there's something out there in the cosmos but it's it's not Jesus Christ but it's something out there you know it's you may be thinking something like that but it's it's actually Jesus Christ you know it's it's God the Father his son Jesus Christ the Holy Ghost that is a gift to us and we could have that uh, influence upon us and we could have that power flow through us if we really really ask for it so those are the types of things I really grasp onto the really solid rock uh, through any time that happens and uh, so we'll just keep going in that direction that's the way I'm going and that's what I feel like is uh, the most important thing to do uh, is, is to look to Jesus Christ and uh, he is the source of all answers and all solutions and uh, when you know that he's real everything changes